हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी टूटोरियल्स बाय वृशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विद सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड सॉल एग्जांपल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्ले लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बैंक यूनिट वाइज और वी कैन से टॉपिक वाइज फॉर यूअर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम पर्पज सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन First of all thank you so much for such a good review and positive feedback please subscribe my channel and also share it with your friends previously we have already discussed all the subjects in detail with examples practical demonstration and important question bank this all playlist will be helpful for your university exam gate exam as well as interview purpose so please share it with your friends and subscribe it so today we will discuss all the important question based on your previous year question papers here we will discuss important questions unit wise like introduction to os process and trade management then inter process communication and deadlock memory management file and disk management also those branches who having the operating system subject in 2019 pattern so that question back also helpful for that particular students so you can refer this playlist as per your syllabus pattern the first unit is based on introduction to operating system so on this unit one of the most important question either in your exam they have asked define operating system and discuss objective and functions of operating system for four marks or what exactly operating system list and explain services provided by operating system so these are the most important question they have asked any one of them next questions are based on linux commands so they have asked the explanation of pwd ps touch fork or unique command or is unique tell touch grip this kind of set so i am suggesting you prepare all these commands with simple explanation and examples for 4 to 6 marks next questions are based on types of operating system so either they have asked specifically like explain serial processing and simple batch operating system or they have asked list different types of operating system describe any two of them so basically you have to prepare explanation of any two types of operating system with diagram and point wise explanation for four marks next question there is a describe between monolithic kernel and micro kernel so this question generally asked for 4 to 6 marks so i am suggesting you prepare tabular difference between this with 6 to 7 points with some examples or also draw some necessary diagram here accordingly the last question is based what exactly system call and explain types of system call for marks so these are the important question on the your first unit so we have already discussed all these questions in detail in our previous sessions you can refer the playlist now the next unit is process and thread management so here 50% questions are based on the numericals and 50% question are based on the theory now let discuss first numerical question see they have asked this kind of question like a uh, process arrival time burst time and priority given you have to apply sjf non preemptive algorithm and priority preemptive scheduling algorithm and you have to find out average waiting time average turn around time for 8 marks similarly they have asked the same question again see process burst time arrival time is given and you have to apply sjf non preemptive and round robin scheduling algorithm you have to find out uh, calculate average turn around time average waiting time and also draw gan chart so these are the most important question this question generally asked for 8 marks in your exam so we have already discussed how to solve this example step wise i have attached link of that videos also in below description block now as per the theoretical questions they have asked how does process move between different states in operating system explain with the help of state transition diagram so here diagram is compulsory you have to explain state transition diagram 
and also explain components of each for six marks. After that, they have asked the question on the basis of scheduler topic. So they asked explain types of scheduler like short term, long term, medium term scheduler for six marks. So here two marks each. Otherwise, they have asked explain various types of processor scheduler with the help of process state transition diagram. So answers are same, but here you have to draw the process state transition diagram, right? So according the question, you need to write the answer. Now, next questions are based on threading and multi-threading topic. So the first question is difference between process and thread. And you have to explain typical entries in PCB and thread control block for eight marks. Otherwise, they have asked what exactly thread or explain thread life cycle in detail for six marks. Otherwise, explain multi-threaded model and process control block in detail for six marks. So they have asked any one question from this. So basically, you have to prepare first difference between process and thread. Just four to six points are there. Then you have to prepare what is process control block and what is multi-threaded model. So just prepare all this topic with diagram. Next question is simple. Explain process state diagram with example. So here you have to draw the same diagram. This first question and ninth number question is almost same. The last questions are based on the scheduling algorithm. So uh, there are multiple ways to ask the questions. First question is like explain any two scheduling algorithm with suitable example or difference between preemptive and non preemptive scheduling algorithm. So you have to here you have to mention the difference of minimum four to six points with example. Otherwise you have to explain uh, that particular scheduling algorithm. So they have asked either difference or explanation for four marks each. So these are the important question on process thread management. So we have already discussed each topic with solve examples. Now next unit is inter-process communication and deadlock. So first and most important question is this, like write a short note on semaphore, monitor and mutex. So you have to explain all these three terms with the diagram and short explanation for eight marks. Otherwise they have asked, explain hardware approach for mutual exclusion with its advantage disadvantages for six marks next questions are based on the semaphore solution here here you have to write the c plus plus or c programming code regarding semaphore code is compulsory here the first question is like what exactly semaphore and you need to mention the justification how semaphore used in to solve critical section problem Otherwise, they have asked, what is semaphore? Write a solution to reader write a problem using semaphore. So here in both questions, you have to mention the code while doing the justification. So prepare accordingly. So this kind of question generally asked for four to six marks. Now, next questions are basis on the deadlock topic. So all these three questions are compulsory. They have asked any one question from this compulsory in your paper. The first question is what is deadlock? Explain deadlock avoidance algorithm with suitable example. Otherwise they have asked explain deadlock prevention, avoidance, detection and recovery with example for eight marks. Otherwise state and explain necessary conditions for deadlock for six marks. So basically you have to prepare deadlock in operating system topic completely. So it is easy to uh, get marks on that particular topic because this is one of the most important question. So prepare with some detailed explanation, code and some diagrams. Now uh, there are different problems in the third unit. So they have asked any one question from this like explain dining philosopher problem with solution or explain producer consumer problem with solution or explain bankers algorithm with example. So this kind of question generally asked for four marks. So I am suggesting you, you should prepare all these questions with example. And we have already discussed all this question in detail in our sessions. Now the next unit is related to memory management. 
here also 50% questions are based on numerical and 50% questions are based on theoretical uh, now see here so memory partition this is one of the most important question for numerical purpose here some partitions are given and you have to apply first fit best fit and worst fit algorithm again same question is there so this kind of question generally asked for 8 marks next numerical question is related to the fifo and lru page replacement algorithm a particular uh, data is given frame numbers are given and you have to calculate the uh, total hit and total fault uh, in this particular frames otherwise they have asked the question like consider following segment table so physical address you have to find out and logical address is given so this all question generally asked for six to eight marks and these are the most important question we have already discussed and solve this all examples in our session i have attached a complete os playlist link in below description box now let's discuss some theoretical question so the first question is related to the you have to explain placement strategy like first fit best fit next fit worst fit for six marks otherwise they have asked the question explain any two page replacement algorithm in detail so basically you have to prepare short explanation but detail examples here uh, almost 3 marks is for explanation and 3 marks is for example. So, here diagrams and example is compulsory, right? So, prepare accordingly. Now, next questions are like discuss fixed partitioning and dynamic partitioning with example for 4 marks. So, they have asked this question like discuss, explain or difference between this, right? So, you have to prepare accordingly. Otherwise, they have asked the question like explain page table structure and inverted page table for 4 marks. So, here you have to draw the diagram and also explain it with some simple points. Next question is related to the fragmentation, right? So, what exactly internal fragmentation and you have to explain this with diagram and example. Also, uh, in a previous year question paper, generally they have asked about only internal fragmentation. But you have to prepare external fragmentation also. Now, next question is related to the demand paging. Like, uh, write a short note on VM with paging, VM with segmentation for 6 marks. Or compare between paging and segmentation with example for 4 marks. So, here you have to write down minimum 4 to 6 points with example. So, again, we have already discussed all these things. Right? So, prepare accordingly. Now, the last unit is related to the file and disk management. Here is also 40% question are based on numericals and 60% questions are based on theory. So they have asked this kind of numerical question like related to the disk scheduling algorithm. So we have already solved these examples in our previous sessions, right? So here they have asked uh, to solve the particular disk drive, uh, particular tracks are given, then uh, page, pages orders are given here. And you have to apply FCFS, scan, CLOOP and SSTF algorithm. Again, same second question is there. Here you have to apply only scan and C-scan algorithm for 8 marks. So here diagrams are important. Uh, solve examples are important. And also you have to prepare some small theory. Like what exactly FIFO, what exactly scan, what are their advantages, disadvantages in this way. So I am suggesting you. You should prepare any one example from this compulsory because they have at least 8 to 10 marks, right? Or otherwise, they have asked explain with example any 3 disk scheduling criteria. So, you have to explain any 3 disk scheduling algorithm. So, basically, you have to prepare example compulsory, right? Because for explanation purpose also, you need to uh, write the example with diagram, right? So, refer my video where we have solved all these uh, things one by one, step wise, right? Now, next questions are related to the theory purpose. Uh, the first question is like explain with diagram different IO buffering technique. So, there are three IO buffering technique. Here, you have to explain it with diagram. Each IO buffering technique carry two marks. So, total question is for six marks. Now, next question is related to the file management. 
सो आयदर दे हैव आस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ फाइल अलोकेशन मेथड और एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ फाइल एक्सेस मेथड और डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ रिकॉर्ड ब्लॉकिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ नेट डायग्राम सो दे हैव आस्ट एनी वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सो दिस क्वेश्चन कैरी सिक्स मार्क्स यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर अकॉर्डिंगली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक वॉट आर द टिपिकल ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म इन डिरेक्टरी सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द सिंपल क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू मेन्शन एटलीस्ट सिक्स फोर टू सिक्स ऑपरेशन विथ सम सिंपल एग्जाम्पल एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन राइक राइट अ शॉर्ट नोट ऑन फाइल सिस्टम देर आर डिफरेंट फाइल सिस्टम आर गिवन लाइक फैट एन टी एफ एस ई एक्स टी एच एफ एस यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दिस फाइल सिस्टम विथ सम रियल लाइफ एंड स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल्स so this question is asked for 6 marks so this is all about some important questions in operating system so prepare accordingly refer operating system playlist where we can solve all these things with some simple examples and simple explanation is there so all the best thank you keep learning